Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about how can we uh, model this simple exercise inside the on shape. So let's get right into it. You can take a screenshot so that you can use it later for your dimension. I will make the base flange of 82 by 50. I'll go for the sketch and let me just add a center point. Sign the dimensions. Next, what I can do, I'll just apply a thickness of 8 mm and I'll hit OK. Next, what I can do, I'll add this wall of 80 minus 8 which is 72 click on the sketch and let me just make it normal I'll go for the corner point rectangle like this and let me just define it 8 for now I will go for the isometry and I will go for the thickness which comes out 72 and I'll hit OK I'll apply a round of this and this of 25 and I'll add a circle of a diameter of 30 And I'll just apply a concentric made of this in the circle. And I'll hit OK. Next, remove the material. And OK. Next, what I can do, I will add a wall. And let me just go for the corner point rectangle like this. And I'll go for the small dimension. Here till here, this is 25 and this is 8. And I'll hit OK. Go for the isometry, and if I look at this height, this is 24. This is like this region. And you find the height comes out of 24. I will draw two circles of diameter 24 and 36. I'll choose this face, sketch on it, and make it normal. Sketch, choose this face, and make it normal. I will draw two circles, assign the dimensions. This is 36. This is 24. If you look at the dimensions from bottom, this is 46. So from here till here, this is 46. All right. And from here till here, this must be 25. And I'll hit OK. Right click, and if you look at this extrusion, this is 16. I'll go for extrusion, and let me just select this region. And for now, this is 16. And I'll hit OK. Right click, the thing that you don't want to be in your trying design. You can just hide them and that's it for now so hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you are new on my channel so make sure to subscribe to my channel to be a part of the conversation